My dear family, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye on things, but as I lie here at death's door, all our differences seem so silly to me now. I want you to know that I love each of you very much. Dad, I don't know how to say this, so I'll just say it. Last year when your credit card was stolen, it was me. I took it to buy that Mercedes, I'm sorry. I know. I staged the whole thing, and now I have your confession. <laughs> I'm actually perfectly healthy. This was my clever ruse to capture you and your lies. <laughs> clever, old man. But not clever enough, I'm afraid. The joke, in fact, is on you. You see, I am dying. I've only been given six months to live. I didn't want to say anything until after we had mourned your passing, but it seems that you find death to be nothing but a tool to use for vengeance. I hope you're happy. Matt, I don't know what to say. Listen, when your Mercedes was stolen, I was the one who took it. <laughs> I needed to settle a debt with a man named Jose Delgado, a powerful crime lord. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you will be. <laughs> oh, sister dear, only a fool would fall for the same con twice in a row. Oh. Well, I'm truly surprised, Matt. You played me well. Not that it matters, because I am dying. Oh, please, you can't possibly... This is my doctor. And a sworn affidavit that states I will be dead within the month. <laughs> I've already had my tombstone engraved. You two should be ashamed of yourselves, pretending to be dying when here my little girl is about to leave us. Oh, Mallory, forgive me. I was the one who put the bomb in the trunk of the Mercedes which killed Jose Delgado. <laughs> It's my fault his family now seeks you for revenge. I knew it was you. This man is actually a taco vendor. And this tombstone is made of candy. Thank you, Mother. It's as much as I deserve. Not that it matters anymore. Oh, here we go. I don't expect any of you to believe me. Not after all of this. But, um, it doesn't change the fact that I've been ill for some time. I don't expect I'll live to see the next week. Mom, this isn't gonna work. We're not idiots. <laughs> I know you're not. I raised such clever children. Knock it off, Mom. Just look at us all. The stealing and the lies. I let you down, didn't I? I was never there for you enough. Honey, we're not buying this, right, kids? I've been a poor excuse for a mother. Oh, no, Mom, it's not your fault. Well, he's right. If anyone's to blame here, it's me. For 20 years, I've been the right-hand man of the Delgado family. I put this on all of us because I wanted to take over the crime ring. Huh. <laughs> And now I have the proof. Thank you, sweetheart. So to be clear, no one is actually dying? No, I ran a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I suggest that we never speak of this night again. If the Delgados hear any part of the story, you know what will happen to each of us. I know exactly what will happen. For I am Jose Delgado! Impossible! I thought you were dead! No, I'm afraid I am very much alive. But sadly, I only have a few more days to live. <laughs> 